Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's go Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. We're very, very grateful. Hope you guys are doing all right. And may you stay blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll check it out. If you're too shy, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. We go by Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, suggest whatever you want to suggest to, and we'll look into it. Check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the vlogs that we post there. So today I'm going to be reacting to the story of Idris Enoch, Prophet series. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Enoch, translated in the Quran as Idris in Arabic, Idris alayhi salam. Idris alayhi salam, he was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some of our scholars consider him to be the second prophet after Adam alayhi salam. Some consider him the third after Sheath. And some of our other scholars consider him the first prophet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Idris was a prophet. And he is the first man to ever write with the pen. So writing before Idris did not exist. And Abdullah ibn Abbas describes Idris alayhi salam. He was a man who was tall. He was very good looking. He was very calm. He had a full grown beard. And he spoke very, very clearly. When he spoke, he was calm. When he walked, he lowered his gaze and looked on the ground. And he was a very collected individual, calm and collected. And he used to ponder and reflect. Very quiet. Hardly speaks only if there's a need. Kathir al-Ta'amul contemplates a lot. He came as a prophet not to stop people from shirk or to call them to the correct information, but rather to help stop and call people away from acts of corruption which they knew were corruption, away from their desires as we know, such as zina and the act of killing, the act of murder, the act of proudiness, the act of corruption, to call them away from that. And it is said also in our history books that Idris salam, was the first to take up arms against another army, to fight against injustice, to protect the innocent. When he saw the corruption spreading, especially among the people of Qabil, and that corruption is spreading even within the people of Idris. So Idris alayhi salam declared war against the, the corrupt people. And he prepared an army of horsemen and people walking, fighting against the people of Qabil and the corruption of the people of Qabil. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory to Idris alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Idris one day, that Allah will give him the rewards of all the good deeds of mankind every single day. They say Idris alayhi salam, he was told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, Oh Idris, from those who have followed you, anyone who does good deeds, at the end of the day, you will have all those good deeds doubled for yourself. Now that is something amazing. This is a status. Imagine others do good deeds and you getting the reward of it. So he was very happy and he knew that his death was approaching. So he had a friend from the angels and he spoke to this friend. He says, you know, Allah has promised me this reward and I'd like to amass a lot of reward before I go. So why don't we speak to the angel of death? Let's see what he has to say to say, look, just try and see if you can seek permission to prolong a little bit. So Idris said, I want to live longer. The angel carried him on his wings and went up into the heaven, the skies. When it was the fourth heaven, they met the angel of death and the angel spoke to him. And the angel of death said, but where is Idris? He replied, he is upon my back. The angel of death said, how astonishing. I was sent and told to cease his soul in the fourth heaven. 
I kept thinking how I could cease it in the fourth heaven when he was on earth. Then he took his soul. His ruh was taken away whilst he was still in the fourth heaven. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa confirms in Sahih al-Bukhari in an authentic narration that when he went up for Mi'raj, he met Idris alayhi salam in the fourth heaven. That is as much as we know about the life of Idris alayhi salatu wasalam. And this is why some of the Mufassirin say when Allah says he raised him to a high level, he is speaking of literally Allah took him up physically to the top and then his soul was taken there. Idris alayhi salam died and time passed. After the death of Idris, corruption started to increase even more. After a thousand years minimum or several thousands of years of generations it took the iblis that long to finally influence the children of adam to commit their first act of shirk to get something here so Idris was um, the one that fought all sorts of corruption or what exactly and during his time was it that those never like he managed to fight off all sorts of corruption or what can someone explain to me and another thing it's interesting that it the video says he was the first person to ever write with a pen that's something worth um, getting more knowledge on. So if there's any videos that explain that particular thing, please share them with me. I'd be more than glad to watch them just for the sake of watching them. And another thing, how come it's not sure of, how come the video wasn't sure of if Idris was the first prophet of God or not? And was Adam considered a prophet of God in the Quran or was it just the first human God created? Uh, the answer to that would also be very, very interesting. Um, I don't think I've ever reacted to Enoch. I'm, I, I don't know. I feel like I have, but then I also feel like I haven't. And I found this to be very, very interesting. So if you guys have more videos that you want me to watch to help me understand this more, please share them with me down below. I'll be very willing to watch them and what are your thoughts on this video itself what do you think about this story of enoch let me know down below uh your thoughts please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below i'll be sure to check it or them out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video